Tokyo Game Show is finally here, and Capcom has shown a new trailer for Project Resistance. This is their new Resident Evil game that has been in the works for quite some time, I believe. Now, we don't know much about what this Resident Evil game is. Is it multiplayer? Is it single player? We really don't know, but hopefully with this trailer, which I am super excited to watch, we get insight on what this actually is or what type of Resident Evil game this is going to be. Um, I have my own opinions that it might be a new Outbreak game or maybe it's a spiritual successor for Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Really don't know, but we're going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. And I hope it's super cool because, man, Resident Evil is my one of my favorite horror franchises of all time. So let's do this. RE Biohazard. I'm pretty sure this is using the RE engine because why not? I mean, it's a fantastic engine that looks pretty realistic. Mission time? That, whoa. Whoa. They're like in an umbrella facility of some sort and somebody is watching them. And is conducting experiments on them. Oh, oh, uh, battle, battle data. Wow. Um, use of use of melee weapons, liquor. Oh, just wow. That's a very sexy liquor. Oh, that's one way to take it down, I guess. It looked like the Misty zombie from, uh, from Raccoon City. What? What? Oh yeah, sure. Just have, just have a tyrant 103 there. Why not? They're dead. They're so dead. More Tito's at Tokyo Game Show. Ah, oh, that was so fast. That was obviously uh, like all like a CGI trailer. But this looks like a Misty Zombie from Resident Evil 2. Kinda. Maybe wrong here, but it seems like it's implying that it's gonna be a five-player game. Four people are gonna be trying to survive, and one player is gonna be kind of like. The game master, right? Yeah, that is definitely a misty zombie. I can see from right here now. Uh, liquor, which in Resident Evil lore, if this was in Raccoon City for some reason, which I don't think it is, uh, it doesn't make sense for Umbrella to have liquors already in containment because liquors was kind of just like an accident type thing. There was just a, it's just the version of the T virus that was leaked in Raccoon City. Ha would cause a rare mutation to happen on some people that were infected and they would turn into liquors. It's like kind of similar to the T-Virus that was released in the Arkway Mountains or in the forest or more specific in the Spencer Mansion. Uh, those people that became infected would sometimes mutate into a crimson head, which is, you know, liquor is kind of the same thing. It's the, it's the same basic concept. So yeah, it really seems like this is going to be a five player game. Four people are going to be trying to survive and one player is going to be the, you know, conducting the battle data, the research for the BOWs. And they're going to be releasing BOWs to try to kill the survivors. That's what it looks like. Uh, I could be completely wrong, but that's what I'm getting from this trailer, um, which is obviously running off of the RE engine, but it looks so great that it looks like CGI. I don't know. So. I'm excited to learn more. There will be more details released at Tokyo Game Show in a few days. Uh, I heard that there's actually going to be playable like gameplay there. So I'm sure we're going to be finally seeing some gameplay to see how this new Resident Evil game is going to be. I don't think it's Outbreak anymore, considering on how this is. I actually think this is going to be a completely new Resident Evil experience. Looking at Mr. X or AK Tyrant 103, which is the actual uh, code name for this specific tyrant. Um, this was the pretty much Umbrella's mass-produced tyrant. This was the most successful uh, <laughs> BLW that they had, other than, I guess, like Hunters. Hunters were considered pretty pretty good uh, for Umbrella, but they definitely wanted to make the tyrants. And the T-103, which is the Mr. X model, was one of their best. And on this trailer, it definitely seems like, if it is what I'm thinking, four people playing survivors and one person being like, the the 
the mastermind, the, the game master, I guess what I should say. It looks like you're going to have full control over the tyrant. So you'll be able to control the tyrant in order to try to kill the survivors. One last thing I want to point out before I end this video is one of the survivors looks like an older version of Elisa, which she's one of the main characters on Resident Evil Outbreak and Outbreak File 2. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. So I wonder if you'll actually be able to have other older versions of the Outbreak survivors in here as well. Uh, again, I don't know if this is going to be following any type of canon story, but if it's not following any type of canon story, be prepared to have a plethora of different character selections that you'll be able to choose, like Leon S. Kennedy, Albert Wesker, Barry Burton, Claire, Red, or Claire Redfield, Chris Redfield. Like, the list can go on for eternity here. So I am super excited to learn more of this and it will be obviously revealed later at Tokyo Game Show with some actual gameplay and things like that. So I'll be talking about all that and more information about Project Resistance, the new Resident Evil game that Capcom has been secretly working on for quite some time. So anyways, I'm Kamel Tetsuo and you just watched the Death Count video and like always, rock on.